What's good, West Mitten? It's your girl, Paige Lane Balzac, local real estate agent and resource for West Michigan. I'm coming at you real quick today with a video. As some of you know, some of you don't, uh, Super Bowl kickoff is basically the kickoff to the spring market for real estate. So what I've seen is what I'd like to update you on today. I'll make it quick, short, and sweet as I can. Figure you want to know if you're deciding to buy or sell this spring, what we're looking at so far. So in our MLS, in my multiple listing service, in West, which is primarily West Michigan, we have about a, a little bit less than a month and a half of inventory. And what that means is if we were to sell every house on the market right now, it would take a little under a month and a half. Not a lot of inventory right now. So what we're looking at now is an influx of buyers as well. Given the winter's over, some people may have taken a break. Some people may have just decided at this point in time, that's when they like to start their purchase journey. So the first thing we're seeing, multiple offer situations are back this spring. There has been three different areas, one on the northwest side of Grand Rapids, one Alger Heights, one in Lowell that I know of very recently, multiple offer situations. So if you're looking to sell a home, I'm not guaranteeing that's going to happen. I'm just saying I'm seeing it. In addition, if you're looking to purchase a home, come at them swinging, baby, because it might be time to really throw at them what you can, what you have to to win the offer. If you need help with that, get a hold of your realtor. We'll win the offer. So with that, with these multiple offers, we're also seeing what's called an escalation. So meaning we're going to start at this amount. But if you get an offer for a little bit higher, we're going to beat that by this amount until we cap off at whatever your top amount is that you want to cap off. It's like a ladder. Anything you can do, I can do better, right? Until you hit the top of your ladder. Picture that, okay? Multiple offers, escalation, so increase in price, competing prices. When it comes to home buying as well, we are seeing either uh, what's the home in, in regard to the home inspection, we're seeing what's a pass or fail. You know, if we pass the inspection, we're good to go, but we're not going to ask for any repairs or altogether waiving inspections, right? Meaning we're good with the home, we're going to waive the inspection. So that's one other way that home buyers are trying to give a leg up in their offer and hit them with a jab, you know, coming swinging. Like I said, they're waving or they're giving the pass fail inspection instead of having a full blown contingency of a home inspection. If you have any questions, my link to my website is going to be in the description of this video. Click on it, hit contact me. We could, we could talk more about it, but I'm trying to keep it quick. And I talk a lot for any of my friends that know that that's what I do. So Prices may go up with an escalation. There may be multiple offers. Your inspections may be waived or just pass fail as opposed to being full blown contingent on inspections, meaning less negotiation for repairs, price reductions, whatnot. We want the house. We don't want to have you home seller having any issues with inspections and turning us down at this point. And the last thing I can say that we're seeing are uh, appraisal gaps or appraisal waivers. So for those of you that don't know, when you're getting a home loan, you will have to get an appraisal that determines a professional opinion of the price of the home value in today's market. And the reason being, who's going to give you a home loan for, say, $500,000 if you're trying to purchase a house and it's appraised at $400,000? That's not very secure, right? So they're not going to want to do that. So you do get an appraisal. That's part of the contingency of your offer. And what people are doing is saying, okay, we'll give you 225000 But if you're, if for any reason the home doesn't appraise at two twenty five dollars and it only appraises under that, we'll cover up to ten k. So what you're really doing is you're offering two twenty five. dollars but if you're if this home only appraises at two hundred fifteen thousand, you got the cash to cover that. So keep that in mind as well. It's wild, I know. It's like what? But people are doing that. That's what we're seeing right now. It may change, you know. It may change if interest goes up. It may change if more homes go on the market. There's a lot of different factors when it comes to the housing market and different variables that make it dynamic. 
and ever changing. So that's why I'm here is to keep up on it for you. That's what I'm seeing within the last week or two. It may change, but right now, if you're looking to sell or buy, those are some things you may run into. Again, any questions, link in description, get at me. I want to thank you again on this beautiful, shiny, sunshiny day for joining me. Hopefully, I didn't take too long, and hopefully, you got some good content from me. Thanks again. Stay blessed.